Hey folks, welcome back. In our last video, you saw us cut out the floor here at our uh, floor joist replacement project. And today we are going to start putting the floor back in. We just got our lumber delivery. But as you see here, we also had a little problem over the weekend. Storm blew through last night and, uh, well, had a little, had a little damage on the job site. So we'll get that picked back up and get the company back out here for some service. But in the meantime, we have to carry all of this lumber in, which I can say I am not looking forward to, but we will get it done and we will get going. So let's get inside and get to work. This is a good opportunity to introduce you to the person that you've seen me working with here while we carry in a bunch of the lumber. That is Dave. He's my dad. We've been working together for about two years in this work. Previous to that, he was an auto mechanic, ran his own shop for 38 years, and retired in early 2022 and started subcontracting work from me. And as anyone who has built things knows, four hands can do a heck of a lot more than two hands can do. So it has greatly expanded the work that we have been able to get into. Uh, framing a floor like this with one person may be doable, but it certainly wouldn't be a heck of a lot of fun. Prior to that, we've worked together practically since I could crawl. Uh, when I was five years old, my parents added a second floor onto their house, which was pretty awesome as a kid. I got to work with the people doing that work and do various things, and I'm sure was not helpful at all, but it was a lot of fun for me. And we were always doing other projects. He and other family and friends have helped me rebuild my entire house practically from scratch, from the ground up over the past decade plus and done lots of other projects. So we can work together pretty well for the most part. Um, working with family is maybe not always the easiest, but I, uh, I think it works well for us. And hopefully we'll be doing this for a little while longer and we both enjoy it. So that definitely helps. So many more videos for us together to come and maybe we'll get some other people worked in to these videos. That would be fun. Uh, got some friends and family that also like building things. So we'll see where that goes. We thought we were done cutting out, but it turns out this has some rot and some cracks in it too. Back in the day, they used tenons. They didn't have joist hangers. And they do have a propensity to split like that, which is a bit of a problem. So that's, that's the problem on that one. Some of these others have some rot in the middle that was concealed by the beam that was there. Uh, like that. So we already have enough lumber here. We will just go ahead and replace this section. Uh, not a big deal in the scheme of things. Um, gives us a chance to do this header a little better as well. So we'll get the saw back out. <laughs>
we're making some progress here on the framing. So you can see we have post bases drilled into the stone footings that we're able to reuse because they are quite substantial. Took a little bit of effort, need to cut away because they sit a, a decent amount below the concrete. And the first stretch of new beam is up. It is not quite in the right spot yet, but it is getting there. Uh, this should be the hardest part here because we have to go under the existing floor joists. Then the next stretch moves along here as we move to the back. slightly yeah slightly it does
Slightly better. Not much. We're just throwing it in there? Yep. Then we'll get to the easy part. First section of floor is in place. With the pockets, they just slide right in there. As you saw, they will probably need a little bit of shimming. We'll check each of them out. We stuck a level on a couple of the joists and they actually looked pretty good. So hopefully that part will be easy. But once the whole floor is in place, we'll work on that. The next step for this side is we have to get these old Bratton boards out over the windows. We're going to put steel in there, so it should be in much better shape after that. So that will be hopefully coming up next. And then we also have underway over here where we have to put the stud wall in place. So we will probably get this wall up next and then we will put that steel on place and keep rolling along with the joists here. We're back at it this morning. As you can see here, we cleared out the rotten window lintels for the basement windows. They weren't doing a whole heck of a lot to support the floor anymore. As I'm 
having trouble walking along the floor here. Uh, the the outer two widths of brick are supported by uh, arches, so they're in pretty good shape, seemingly. And the interior that was supported by brick previous or uh, uh, wood previously will now be supported by steel, three eighth inch thick. Uh, four by six angle iron, painted them up so they should last a good long time. And we will start popping them in place now and getting the new uh, floor dress on top. Got the steel up in place, leveled off. Took quite a bit of mortar to do that. So all four ready to go. And now it's time to start getting floor joists on. Well, we got all the joists in place now. You can see they're nicely resting on the six inches of flange there. Start infilling with brick back around it. That's just to hold the brick above. A couple spots we had to header around chimneys. There are four chimneys in here. So start putting that back up. It's only got a support below the window, so not too much. And then we are almost finished with joists over there and just a little more blocking to do. Floor framing itself is now finished up. Still got to get some more brick in between the joists on the steel. All the blocking here. That nice new rear wall. Former stairs. We are not putting new back into that spot. That'll just become floor. where we put it on the new wall in the basement and we will have to do the same thing above because there are no pockets because of the stairs and new stairs will be going in where there were stairs you can kind of tell by the two front doors this was originally two units it will be one and then once we get all the decking down it is time to start taking down the next rotten level and as you can see, it's definitely not in great condition. But we'll get up to that in no time, hopefully. Well, that's a wrap on this one. As you can see, all the framing is in place and even a little bit of subfloor is scattered above. We'll be getting to that on the next video. So we hope you tune back in next time. We're still working on figuring out how to record while we work. Uh, and in this case with some particularly bad lighting so we'll we'll get there uh, but in the meantime if you'd like and subscribe we'd super appreciate it and we'll see you next time